covers in them. And then what this does is keeps them in shape as we're putting the press down on them to press them over. cheese in to keep it in place. Put one in there lengthwise. And put one across the widthwise. pound wheels and five 20 pound blocks. You might be asking, if this is supposed to be baby Swiss, where are the holes? We call them eyes. It usually takes two to three weeks for the culture to do its work and create the eyes in the cheese. in the hoops, we put it on the steel work table and 25 pound weights are placed on top to help smooth the cheese wheels and blocks and to squeeze out the remaining way. Press for the cheese and what it does is it takes the curds and presses them uh, so they're flatter Press them all together so it gives you a nice smooth finish. And when we're done with Swiss, baby Swiss here, I'm going to take the weights off. Take the weights off. Take the molds out. Take the cheese out of the molds. And put them in the salt brine. Finish. And you can see. A nice smooth finish on the outside of the cheese here. That means it's ready to go into the salt brine tank. The brine tank is basically refrigerated salt water. The cheese will absorb some of the salt and add to the flavor and form a rind on the cheese. The wheels will remain in the brine for about four hours, but the blocks will remain overnight. So what we're going to do is take the uh, cheese out of the salt brine, uh, pat it dry, and eventually we're going to take it down to the vacuum sealer and get it all sealed up put away for the night. Now what we've got is uh, vacuum sealing in the cheese, baby Swiss cheese and the vacuum packs. And we're putting three five pound blocks into the bag here. And once it gets sealed, we'll be ready to uh, put it away from the green for the night. Place in a controlled environment for the next 60 days. 
The first 30 days, the cheese is stored at about 60 degrees so the eyes, or holes, can form. Then we move the cheese to a 50 degree storage area for another 30 days as the flavor and texture develop. When the Swiss cheese is ready to sell, we move it to a 40 degree cooler. When the time is right, we take it from the cooler to cut and package to sell in the Young's Farmstead Cheese Marketplace or use in our restaurant kitchen.